Hey guys, welcome. In this lecture, we are going to create the bottom navigation bar. Okay. To do this, we have to go to the main underscore screen dot dot file. And what we can do is to get rid of this body. And now within the scaffold widget, it has a property known as bottom navigation bar. And the bottom navigation bar is going to take a widget also known as bottom, bottom navigation bar. Now within the bottom navigation bar, it has a required property known as items. The items is basically referring to how many bottom navigation bar item we need. Okay. Over here, we can then say bottom navigation bar item. And basically, the bottom navigation bar item expects two property. That is the icon and also a property known as label. For now, we can pass in the icon. And this is going to be icon widget. And this is going to be the Cupertino icons. Cupertino icons. Then we can use the dot home. And after that, Within the bottom navigation bar, it expects a property known as label, which is basically referring to the description of this icon. So over here, we can just pass home with a capital letter. Okay, seems good. Now you can see this is a list, so it expects more than one values. Using Ctrl and S to save at this point, we resort to error. So what we can just do is we can copy this and paste this up to two more times. Okay, now use Ctrl and S to save. Okay, and now you can see this. And the reason you can see this is because it has a default color of white. So what we can do, and as you know, the scaffold has a background of white, and since it has a color of white, so definitely you're not gonna be able to see that, right? So what we can then do is over here, within the bottom navigation, sorry. Yeah, within the bottom navigation bar, we can just break this. It has a property known as unselected item color. That is the icons that are not selected. We can then say colors dot black dot, sorry, colors black and for those that are selected we can then say selected item color or for the icon that is selected because definitely you're not going to be able to select uh, two icons at the same time so we can then say colors this is going to be yellow but we can add the shades to this a shade of 900 okay sounds good now use control and s to save and you can see it seems good right okay now, what we want to do is we want to be able to use this icons we have over here. You can see we have the accounts.svg, we have the cards.svg, we had we have the explorer.svg, we also do have the favorite.svg, the search svg, and the shop svg. And you can see this files has this extension called svg. And in order to be able to use this svg extension, we have to install a package. So what you have to do is head up to your browser and head up to pop.dev. And over here, we are then going to search for a package known as Flutter SVG. Okay, Flutter SVG and click on this. Okay. And now what you have to do is to copy this and head back to your VS code and then your postback.yaml and paste this right after the Cupertino icons. And you can see currently, I already added mine, okay? So you can just paste this and get it multiple times if it does not get at the first go, or you can just re re restart your VS code. Okay, so let's go. And now we can go back to the main screen, okay? And for this, we can get rid of this. And basically, we want to use the SVG, SVG picture. And you can see this is this image is within our our 
phi. So it is referred to as assets. And now you can see it's asking for the location to that image. To get that image, it has to go to assets and icons. And basically, we want to use the explorer, which is going to serve as the categories. Okay, explore with SVG. And also, we can give this a width of just 20. Okay, seems good. I use Ctrl and S to save. And now we also do have to rename this to say categories. Okay, categories. Hopefully, I can spell. Yeah, hopefully. Okay, wait for this to hot reload. Hot reloading. And you can see it. We have it over here. You can see. Sounds cool. And the next we need is going to be for the store. So we can get rid of this again. And this is going to be SVG. SVG. Picture. Got assets. And this is going to be, sorry, small letter. And this is going to be assets slash icons slash what? This is going to be for the shop job.svg okay and also we can give this a width of 20 okay and this is gonna say store so it's good and now we need for the nest the nest is gonna be for the cat the cat screen sorry Okay, assets, sorry, SVG, feature, that assets. We want to go to the assets directory, icons, and we have the cart.svg. Okay, and this is going to say cart. Cart, wait for this. And you can see we have that cart over there. Okay, and and okay we have this card wire and the order is going to be for the search i think we have that search over here okay and get rid of this i'm just going to copy this in order to make our life much more easier copy this and paste and this is going to say search okay and this is going to say search okay search path okay seems cool and lastly we can copy this and paste this is gonna say account and this is gonna be accounts okay how we do account svg okay use control and s now to save and we we'll check this out okay seems cool right and what we can do is we can get rid of this debug banner but basically we are currently in debug mode or you can so you can just leave this but basically i want to have access to my screens i want to be able to see everything okay so we can just go to the main that file and also we can get rid of this comment and now we can then say debug but uh debug show checks mode banner and default, it is set to true, so we can set this to false. Okay, and wait for this. Okay, you can see, sounds good. Now, so you can see we have this status bar, and also what we can do is we can get rid of this. To do this, within the widget, it has a property known as system curl, and we can then say the set system over list i, and in the, it, within the set system over list i, it has a property known as system ui over list i again. And now we we can have the color, sorry. It then has a property known as status bar color. And basically, we want to say colors the transparent. I use control and to save now and to check this out. See that anymore. Okay, seems good. Now we have. Uh, the full the fullness of our screens and you can see everything is working as expected